when I started looking for job, the first thing I was apprehensive about was how to write a resume. And then a series of questions came in my mind that how long CV should be. Should it be one page or two pages or it can be more than that? Should I design my resume myself or should I get it designed from the resume designing professional companies? What is the right resume format? What actually we should mention in the resume? Is objective really important? important? <laughs> Hello, I'm Sarosh, HR as well as a travel trainer. In today's session, I'll be guiding you through the complete process of how to write effective and attractive resume. And yes, by the end of the video session, you'll be able to get answers to the questions which I just mentioned. Step one is, why do you actually need a resume? You need resume to sell yourself as a brand, to display how your profile will benefit the company, and yes, to attract the attention of the HR. And to do all this, you need to remember three M's. First one is mention your strongest skills, accomplishments and competencies. Second, you should match your competencies, skills with the job you are applying for. Third, make interviewer understand who you are in detail by showing your strongest points in the CV. And yes, most importantly, get a call for the interview. Step two is do your research work. By research, I mean to say that read job profiles you wish to apply for by going on the job portals like Nokri.com, Indeed.com, LinkedIn, etc. Understand the skills, the education level, the experience level these companies are looking for by understanding the job description. Include those keywords which are mentioned in the job profile in your CV. So once you have noted down 10 important keywords from the job profiles you read, then you can stop your research and move to next step. Step three is to build your resume. To design your resume, divide your resume into three parts, top portion, body and the closing part. Top portion of the resume should have your name, a tagline or a sentence line which explains who you are, contact details, mobile number, email ID. You can also mention your LinkedIn, Instagram, vlogging sites if you are active and you are doing something which is promoting you as a brand and your profile summary to showcase what you are currently doing. Instead of objective, you should mention profile summary because this is what indicates that what are you doing currently. Next comes the body of the resume. In this, you must mention your competency, synopsis of what skills you possess, what experience you carry if you are a working professional, what education background do you have, your qualification should be mentioned here and your highest qualification, the qualification which you are doing currently should be mentioned on the top and then so on. If you have attended any trainings, any workshop that should also be mentioned in the body. You can also mention your achievements and projects, though achievements and the projects you are working on should be mentioned in the closing line of your CV. As I mentioned earlier, achievements, the projects you are working on should be mentioned in the closing part of your resume. In the closing part of the resume, you may also mention your personal profile, but make sure that your personal profile is just limited to two or three things like hobbies, strengths, the languages you know. Uh, do not mention father's name, mother's name because that is irrelevant. Interviewer has nothing to do what your father name or what your mother name is. You may also mention declaration, which is optional. So personal profile and declaration are actually optional in the closing part of the resume. Step four is proofread and edit your resume. 
Take out time to proofread your resume to make sure it is error free. Prepare a checklist for yourself for all those important points and keyword which you wish to include in your resume and later cross check if you have mentioned those keyword and important points in your CV. Check is your resume readable? Hope HR will not face problem in reading your resume. Are the important points getting highlighted? For highlighting you may use bold italic underline or a different color. Is there enough space on your CV so that it is not clumsy? Include bullet points in your CV so that it is easier for the HR to read. Never use more than two colors in your CV. Try to use professional colors like combination of white brown, white and navy blue or light blue, white and green. Try using professional and subtle colors and never use more than two colors in one CV. Next and the last step is market your resume. Now as you are ready with your resume, so next step is to market your resume. Post your resume wisely on job portals, professional websites like LinkedIn, participate in forums like Quora and network your profile, your resume to your contacts as well. Sure, with these five easy steps, you will be able to build a very nice resume for yourself. Just make sure that you are mentioning all the information correctly in your profile. Include those keywords which are mentioned in the job advertisements to get your resume shortlisted and to attract the attention of the HR. CV ideally should be one page. For experienced professionals, it can be two pages also, but it should not be more than two pages. You need not approach resume designing companies. You can go to websites like canva.com where there are free visual CV formats available. You can use those formats and you can build your own CV yourself. There is no set right format for the CV. As long as you have correct information, you are including all the relevant information which is required by the HR, your resume is perfect for you. So keep learning, keep growing. Thank you.